Hey everyone, Reed here. Today is going to be a quick tip on how to organize your measures a little bit better in your model. Now typically a lot of people will take their measures and put that on their fact or sales table as you can see here. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to organize these into a new dedicated DAX table or folder that is going to sit at the top of our fields list. So to start with, to do that we're going to come up to the add or enter data button here. We're going to leave this completely empty and the only thing we're going to do is name this DAX for the table name and select load. Now we'll create a new table, or in this case, becoming a folder that is called DAX. And now what well, we're going to come over and select the model view here. And now I'm going to go to my sales table. I'm going to select all of my measures here. So I'm using the shift key and highlighting these and then select these remaining ones. There we are. And yep, that should be that should be all of them. I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag it into my DAX measures folder up here. There we are. Now if I close this, open this up. Now, with all of these in here, I'm also going to go to the column here, and I'm going to right click in column one, which is an empty column with only one row. I'm going to delete that from the model and select OK. And now notice that the folder here has been moved to the top. The symbol has been changed to a DAX measure. So we're halfway there. Now, some additional things we can do to organize this is create some folders. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So all of my base amounts, so my budget, my forecast and my sales, those are like the core calculations. You see here, we also have an option for display folder. So I'm going to call these base for base calculations and select enter. And notice, by the way, that it has now created a folder for base that is in this hierarchy structure as well. So we have our base folder in the measures folder that has all of these, plus this new subfolder inside of this for the things that I just added to there. And similar with these, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these variances, and I'm going to add this to a display folder of variances. And now we have a base and variances folder. Uh, another trick for this as well is depending on if you have measures in the same level inside of this measure folder as these, you want to ensure that these folders are always kept at the top. What you can do as a trick is to make sure that when you are applying this, to add like a period or something at the very beginning, which will ensure that these remain at the top of the list because it's sorted alphanumerically. So you can see this observed. Let me just go ahead and move one of these back to the top folder. There we are. So with these collapsed, you can see that these are sorted alphabetically. But if I was to again include the period there at the very beginning, that ensures that alphabetically these get sorted in that correct order. So these are always kept at the top. If you have a mixture of folders and calculations in the main table itself for DAX. But we have these kept, and pretty much everything at that first level is just going to be folders with the remaining ones below it. Now, a couple of other tricks that I want to mention. If you wanted to do a subfolder, you can add another backslash, and then let's just call this subfolder to show you an example. You can now see that inside of variances, there's now a subfolder for this one. You can also drag and drop them to any of the folders created after you've done that. And then last but not least, there's one other really cool trick that I want to mention as well. This is actual amount variance to budget. So depending on if I wanted to put it in one or multiple folders, if I do a semicolon, and let's actually put this into a folder called budget, notice that it is now in two different folders. I have it in budget and variances. And observe what happens with the new visual onto the page. If I had a single value card here, let's put that onto the page as an example. And I'll open both of these. I'm just going to drag it from budget. Notice that it added it from both. So technically there is only one measure, but you can see the changes added from both of these locations. So depending on how you want to organize it, and if you're not sure if it should go in folder A or B, this is a great way to put it in both of them. So an additional backslash allows you to put it into a subfolder and then a semicolon, as we've seen over here. There you go. Allows you to put it into multiple locations. So hopefully you found these tips useful and you've seen now both how to create a root folder itself that is located at the top of your fields list as far as that DAX folder grows. And then you can also put the DAX measures inside of that folder inside of subfolders as well inside of there for better organization. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources 
and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.